Good morning guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I have not vlogged in about a week, which is like been a long time for me. Um, I was posting very regularly, but it's just too much. I just can't do it with uni, so um, yeah, I'm gonna just take a bit of a chill on YouTube and just post when I can because uni is stressful. Um, I'm very, very close to finishing my dissertation. Well, I've got a deadline on this Thursday, which is, um, she's asked me to complete my like three main chapters. So then after that, I've just got my intro, my conclusion to do, which is kind of like another essay, um, another essay length. And then I'm kind of done, like apart from, obviously I'm gonna get over it and re like word stuff and add stuff. Cause I'm expecting her to just rip it apart, to be honest, because they always do. Such a nice couple of days, um, well, a few days. I went to Centre Parks over the weekend, which was literally so nice. I had, like, that was one of my favourite weekends in a long time um, with my boyfriend's family. So, yeah, it was so nice. And I just, I love having family weekends. It's so important. So, yeah, that was so nice. And um, so I'm back at uni now. Um, I'm, going, I'm going to a lecture in about an hour and then I'm getting the train to Knott's. Um, I've got like a meal at Jamie's Italian, so yeah, it's gonna be another nice day. Got on this outfit. Oh, this bit, the lighting's quite bad. Sorry, guys. Um, it's literally just um, top shop uh, skinny jeans. Never wear these anymore, which is, I find it weird seeing myself in um, skinny jeans because I literally never wear them. I've got my pumas on. Then this top is from misguided but then because i've got like a day night whatever you want to call it <laughs> tonight i'm gonna just i've got this little black lacy bra underneath so i'm just gonna do it like that so it looks a bit more like evening appropriate drinks appropriate um then i'm taking this big bag with me it's got like gonna have my uni stuff in it etc um i really like how big bags look with outfits um so yeah, taking this with me and then either my denim jacket or this jacket that i don't often wear um because i just don't think it really suits me but i'll show you guys anyway what it so yeah this is the jacket that i don't really wear it's from topshop i've not really got a lot of wear out of it but um yeah i do like it it's a kind of nice gray color it's nice for summer looks kind of nice for drinks but i just I don't know, I just, there's something about it. I think it's because I don't really wear smart stuff anymore. So, you know, when you wear something you're not really used to wearing, it feels a bit weird. So I've either got this jacket or this jacket, which honestly you guys would have seen me wear so much. I got this last summer, I appeared in so many of my vlogs. This is probably the jacket, a blonde my black puffer. This is the jacket I've got the most wear out of that I've ever bought. It was just the best thing I ever bought from Misguided. Um, so yeah, all this one, which is obviously more casual, but I just feel more me in it. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think of that grey coat. Like, is it is it nice? I don't know. <laughs> oh, and one more thing to let you guys know. I'm going to think I'm going to start doing vlogs that are more over like a couple of few days because then it means I don't have to cram loads of footage into one day if, if I haven't got like the time to. And it just makes it easier. So um, I'm not really going to vlog tonight because I'm just not going to, but th this means I can like vlog. tomorrow I don't know what I'm about. Um, but I think that's gonna way I'm gonna do it sometimes and then obviously I'll still do daily vlogs and stuff like that um this is so I'm going to my 21st century uh, fiction seminar soon and we're doing this book which I've not actually read which is really bad but this tutor is so chill so it doesn't freak me out that I've not read it um but I've read the first bit of it and I do need to finish it because it's all about terrorism and I've really enjoyed it so far even though I'm well I, Actually, no, I can't say I've enjoyed it. I really don't like Ian McEwan as a writer. I think he's, like, just... Ugh. I don't know what it is. His characters are just so irritating. Um, and they're always really pretentious and just selfish. And I don't know if that's a reflection of him himself, but I don't know. Anyway, we're doing this in today's seminar. It's a two-hours one. Um, I need to make a lunch to take for after the seminar. Um, and then I'm going to go to Nero's, do a bit of work, and then get the train to not. So I don't know if you can, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've done like a little eyeshadow um, wing on my eyes, and I used to wear winged eyeliner. Literally, the lighting is so bad. But let me find better lighting. <laughs> I used to wear winged eyeliner all the time, and I just, I think I feel co more confident. I don't know. There's something about it that changes my face for me when I look at my face, and I just like wearing it. So I think I'm going to start wearing it again. I think it's something about how it accentuates my eyes or makes my eyes like more cat shaped i don't know what it is but i really like it so i'm gonna start wearing that again um a little tip if you are really bad at winged eyeliner like i am um i can do it but i 
it is easier a little tip is to use eyeshadow and a little winged brush because there's so much more room for going wrong and you can make it look softer as well like not as harsh so that's just definitely a little tip if you want to get into winged eyeliner and you can't do it <laughs> This is the dressing that I'm using at the moment on my salad. So in, in this I've got um, a little bit of rice at the bottom, lettuce, feta, tomato, red onion, I think that's about it. Um, I'm just going to add some of this to it. I'm going out for quite a big meal tonight so I don't want to have a huge lunch. When I And this is what it looks like. It's not much and I would usually have like a bit more. I'm gonna take an apple with me and maybe another snack or something. But yeah, it's got rice in it so it should fill me up until later when I go for dinner. Before I leave to go to uni, I'm gonna take my biotin. This is on an offer in Holland and Barrett. It's actually quite expensive, but if you do find it on offer, it's about half price. So I got this about seven pounds. Um, and I also had a voucher, so I got a little bit more off it. This is good for hair and nails. Can't say, I haven't been using this every day, so I can't really give like an honest opinion of if it's helped. I think it has helped my skin clear up actually, thinking about it. Um, can't say I've noticed a massive difference in my hair, but like I said, I've not been taking this every day and you are supposed to, so my <laughs> judgment is not reliable. And then I've also been taking these Radiance multivitamins every day, which are really good for you. So um, take this with some lemon water, Obviously I've got a Pepsi lurking in my room because I have a Pepsi Max addiction. It's getting bad. Don't really know what's happened. I've just, I don't know. I just want it all the time. I'm craving it always. I blame Alice because in Leeds first, I saw her getting one every morning and somehow that just made me want to drink it. And before Leeds first, I didn't like fizzy drinks. Um, and I've been converted, which isn't great, but yeah, it's tasty. <laughs> to uni now i better go actually i think i'm running a bit late just been watching kate hutchins on youtube she's literally my favorite instagrammer she's so beautiful and um she started a youtube a while ago she doesn't post that much but honestly her vlogs are the most uplifting thing ever so definitely recommend going to look at her um vlogs so yeah been watching a little bit of youtube the time is right i need to go <laughs> bye <laughs> Right, story of my actual life. It looks really sunny outside, but it's not it's not it's not warm, it's actually pretty chilly. <laughs> My train has been cancelled, so this means I've got to walk like 20 minutes to another station um, and then get the train to Grantham and then change to not. So brilliant. I'm literally so pissed off because I can't be arsed at all. It means I'm going to get there late, but whatever. I'm going through Newark now and it's actually so pretty. So I've seen someone new in the UK at least. <laughs> I just got back from spending a couple of days in, um, I, what the heck? <laughs> uh, I just got back from spending a couple of days in Nottingham um, and and I just got, went to my dissertation uh, meeting. My dissertation's due in um, five weeks, so, <laughs> yay. My dissertation tutor is so good, she like really makes sure I'm getting everything that I need to in, but she kind of like ripped it apart a bit, I was like, uh, apart from that, it's all right. I'm pretty like I'm pleased with it so far, and so I don't know. I don't know what I can do apart from just putting the changes that she wants and stuff like that. So, also, guys, I'd really recommend going on Groupon and getting um, one of those Jamie's uh, Italian vouchers because it's just such good value for money. It's what I did over the last um, the, the other night, um, which I forgot to vlog. Sorry about that. But I had this amazing um, like battered. Uh, 
squid to start with and then this really nice superfood salad um the menu is so good it's like 22 pounds for two courses for two people so definitely recommend if you're like on a bit of a budget and you want a really nice meal out because i've been to jamie's so many times and the food is always pang yeah thank you for watching hopefully there is enough footage in this vlog but um yeah fingers crossed um so yeah thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe down below um hopefully be back with more regular vlogs and stuff um i do find like it is good for me to have a bit of a break from vlogging every now and then and when i actually end up because then when i actually end up vlogging i always think find them that they're like i just seem more happy and positive when i'm not vlogging every day and the content just seems better so yeah i'm not going to be putting out loads of videos like i was doing last week because it's just stupid um so yeah I'll catch you on the other side. Love ya.